Hello everyone, it's Sean here, Uni Reborn Dad, and I have Soleil here to uh, sit with me and talk about this topic that is making its way through the Reborn world currently. Um, <laughs> and, you know, obviously I, I almost always have a different perspective on things, and this issue is no exception to that. And if you were on my Instagram live yesterday, you already know what I have to say about this topic, so I don't mind if you don't want to rewatch what I have to say because a lot of it it's going to be the same thing. So, for those of you who are not aware of what's going on, the company that produces Genesis Heat Set Paints has now come out and said that basically they are no longer going to be producing those paints. And the issue with that for those again who are not aware most artists who make who paint reborn dolls are using genesis heat set paints now like i said i have a different perspective on this because i do believe that people are overreacting and you know a lot of what i'm going to say may sound dismissive but really it's not it's about how you react to things because this is a situation that pretty much none of us can control and how you react to situations really determines how you're how happy you are in life and um if you react to things you're just going to fill yourself with anxiety and um depression which is what's happening with a lot of artists right now a lot of them are panicking and not seeing the logistical side of what likely is going to happen if they do in fact completely stop the production of these paints um so i wanted to come with a different perspective on this and so far um the feedback i've had on my reaction to this situation has not been that people are saying i'm dismissive which is good because that's not my really my intent um a lot of people have been thankful that i'm finally one of the people who are not freaking out and not in despair with the situation so yeah, I wanted to kind of explain why I'm coming at it the way I am, um, because over the years I've started realizing you can control the way you react to situations, um, and I'm really trying to get better at that uh, to make my life a little bit better. <laughs> so with that, my first reaction was not panic to when I heard that this was a rumor, because at first it was very much a rumor. Um, I wasn't seeing really anything from the company itself or any of the major uh, Reborn supply companies. They weren't saying anything about it. So I wasn't believing it at first because there's lots of rumors that happen with people in this community. I mean, that's what you're going to get when people are not really connected uh, physically. Uh, there's a lot of gossip that goes around. So at first, I personally didn't believe it quite yet because I'm very skeptical uh skeptical skeptical there we go of people in this community and when they start sharing uh screenshots and images that just don't look right um i don't believe it so yeah once i got confirmation from mcpherson's basically that they were like well yeah i this might be true that they are going to stop producing these paints then i moved into my reaction of okay <laughs> like it sounds so bad, but I was like, oh, well, all right, um, moving on, because that's the thing. There was a time before Genesis Heat Set Paints, and there's going to be a time with that, be like, after Genesis Heat Set Paints, if they do, in fact, stop the production. Um, there were, this art form has been around for decades and decades, and like I said, be there was a time where no one was using Genesis heat set paints to reborn dolls and um, they were doing okay. Now we have advanced to a point in our art form that Genesis is absolutely the preferred for many, many reasons. And not only that, they're just like, were readily available and didn't require a lot of different things to be purchased in order to use them. Um, unlike air dry paints. So right now, a lot of artists are freaking out because they think the only alternative is going to be to move to air dry paints, which most people don't want to do, um, including myself. I will not be moving to air dry paints uh, if they do, in fact, stop the production of Genesis. 
And the reason is of that is why is because, like I said, uh, Genesis heat set paints are way easier to use. Um, they're more intuitive, um, and they don't require a lot of special thinners and mediums to make them not dry out. Um, and yeah, just for me, I also don't like the idea of air dry paints because I feel like they don't last as long um, on the on the vinyl and people have done experiments to see if they fade over time and yes they do air dry paints do even if you have ones that are specifically specifically supposed to be uv protected whereas genesis doesn't really fade over time um because it's not really heat sensitive um but yeah so there's a lot of reasons why i wouldn't personally want to uh, move to air dry and i've been very transparent about not liking air dry paints <laughs> on both collecting dolls and using them um so for me that was not a reaction was oh i'm just going to move to air dry paints um my reaction was cool what now and i figured you know the thing about the the reality of the situation is this is not going to be the the end for heat set paints there are going to be other um companies that will produce and if they're smart, a lot of the Reborn Supply companies will get into this market now that there is a need for it, like a s extreme need. If they want to make a good b business de uh, decision, they'll go into the development part of these paints because that will really get them some income. Um, and the fact of the matter is there already are heat set alternatives. There's one that's already been developed. And there's one that is developing in um, a Spanish, I don't know where that company is exactly located, but they're Spanish speaking. Um, but the one that's already been developed um, is called Kibelka, Kibelka, Kibelka. Um, and you already saw companies like McPherson starting to carry their mediums in, uh, because Genesis heat set mediums were out of stock for so long that they already were looking for alternatives to Genesis. So that's what I'm like, stop freaking out. There's going to be alternatives because that's the way that life works. We move on and we develop a, a different way of figuring out the solution to the problem. And if that doesn't happen, um, worst case scenario, um, we see less artists that are painting the Reborns. And for me, that's not a bad thing. Um, I think <laughs> I think that will level things out in this art form if there's less artists. And I say that because if you look, there are way, way, way more dolls than there are buyers because there's way, way more artists than there are collectors currently. Uh, so if we take away a lot of the artists that are painting right now because of this situation, that's going to level out the supply and demand of Reborn Dolls. And for me, that's a good thing. <laughs> I like that idea of not struggling to be able to sell. So for the artists that do decide to stick with the art form despite this situation, they're going to see likely an increase in their sales. So that's why I'm like, people need to stop freaking out because one, there is going to be an alternative and two, this is not the worst thing in the world. Um, for me personally, I have a lot of paint left, so I'm going to keep painting. Um, and I don't expect that, like, that I will run out of paints before the alternatives are being produced and widely available. I don't think that's going to happen. And if I do run out before the alternatives are out, um, I'll just take a break until the alternatives arrive because there will be an alternative. Um, like, I'm pretty sure about that. And like I said, worst case scenario, oh well. Um, with me, uh, and I have also been saying this for the longest time, that no one, and I mean no one, should be making this art form their entire career. Now, there are people out there that this is the only thing they do to make money for their families. And I have said from the very beginning, that is a 
horrible idea to do to yourself and your family because it is an art form that is a luxury art form. And with that, that means there is no guaranteed stability in this business. And I even put business in quotation marks because really it's not a business. Um, reborning is one of the most unstable things that you can choose to do if you're just going to make money off of just that because it is literally literally um reliant on the fact that you're going to have a buyer um and that is very different than a lot of other ways to make money like you're if you're in a job like my full-time job you know we're going to have work it's a salary job whereas reborns you have to be willing to not you you will finish the doll and may not have a seller a uh, buyer for weeks months and that's why i've always said this is not going to be my only means of income because i do not want to put myself in a situation where i have a doll sitting for a while like i've had lulu has not sold yet and i don't want to be reliant on paying my bills on something that may or may not sell <laughs> so unless you're like a prototype artist who are who is selling dolls for thousands of dollars I have always warned people do not come into this art form wanting to make a living wage or wanting to make a decent living off of them because it's a horrible idea now obviously people are going to do what they're going to do and a lot of artists are now in a position where they're freaking out because this is their only way of making money and it's, it sounds bad, but I, I, I honestly don't have that much sympathy because I'm like, why would you choose to put yourself in that situation in the first place? So yeah, people have been like a little bit upset that I'm saying things like that, but I've always been saying things like that. Like, don't do this to yourself because of things like this that happen that are completely out of our control as the consumers and creators of this art form. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys understand my perspective that this is not the end, that people are doing what they do best, which is being reactionary without stepping back and thinking what will likely happen um, in the event, because it's not even still a guarantee completely yet that Genesis is gone forever, because they stopped producing for a while over the pandemic before, and then they came back. And then um, it was fine. Um, so that's what I mean by like, it is still not even a guarantee that Genesis will never be produced again. Because the, the fact of the matter is, they can find, they can sell their formula to these reborn supply companies. And the reborn supply companies can very well take that on their own, develop an alternative to the um, ingredient that is missing or not being able to be um, source and develop a new line of genesis under the same name but being produced by the reborn supply companies there is so many different ways that this can go that first of all it's not even a guarantee that it's going to be gone forever in the first place so if we step back and think about that too it does eliminate some of the panic that comes from it and um i also wanted to talk about like i did in my live how um, it's really annoying because because of this human need to react to situations without thinking about things logically or using common sense. Um, it's a human response to overreact and then become greedy. And with that, I mean, we saw this in the, in the beginning of the pandemic with toilet paper being um, bought up, bread, all that being bought up. Um, and hoarded by people being selfish. And we're seeing that same thing with the Genesis heat set paints again. Um, like it happened before with all the mediums because people were buying them up and hoarding them. Um, and then they came back and then you look dumb because you you were trying to resell and some people were successful at reselling the mediums for like hundreds, hundreds of dollars for a jar. Um, so people are doing that again now. Um, people are buying up in a panic all the Genesis heat set paints where what is that going to do for anyone? That's just so selfish 
and it's really frustrating that that's happening because it's so unnecessary um to you don't need to be buying like six containers of a color um because that's just taking it away from other people who may need it and also genesis heat set paints last like forever i still have jars um from when i started painting three years ago um that are pretty much still full and the only colors that i run out of really are the flesh colors so i got one more con big container of those and then that's going to last me for another while so that's what i mean like there is no reason why these people should be acting the way they are with buying up all the paints because genesis lasts forever <laughs> if you're thinning it out properly that is if you're using so much paint that you're going through these jars like that quickly you need to reevaluate the way you're using them because they're not meant to um be used up that quickly they're so concentrated that what are you doing um so and ultimately you only need really five colors of genesis anyway as I said on my live on Instagram, you need red, yellow, blue, black, white. And then you can make literally any color because that's the way that colors work. And um, if you don't know how to do that, look at a color wheel or take a beginning art class. <laughs> um, a lot of community colleges will have them for, you know, you can just take a class. Um, so that being said, I think I said pretty much all I needed to about this situation that we need to calm down and take a step back and realize that this is not going to be the end. And if this is the end for some artists, then I personally also don't think they were in it for the right reason in the first place. Like if this is something that's going to stop you from wanting to paint completely, um, then it wasn't meant to be your career in the first place. Because if this is truly the career you want, you're going to fight to stay in it and learn new techniques, learn different mediums of how to paint um, these dolls. If you are really meaning to stay in it, you will stay in it, regardless of the Genesis heat set situation. So if you're not willing to fight to stay in something, um, it wasn't meant for you in the first place. And that also sounds kind of cruel, but that's that's exactly what I mean. Like, if you weren't aren't willing to learn something new to stay in something that you really truly love then it wasn't meant for you to stay in um and you just need to reevaluate what um is truly your intention as an artist in this art form um for me it was just a ho it's just a hobby so i'm gonna you know, treat it as such. So once I run out and um, like I said, if there's not an alternative to heat set quite yet, I'll just wait and then come back because it's a hobby and you can come back to it once you feel like you're ready to, because that's what a hobby is. Um, it's not necessarily something that's gonna go away from being a passion of mine. Um, I'll just move to collecting in the meantime. Um, and I think that's fair. So yeah, I hope that all of this made sense um, and I'm, I'm just now kind of curious to see what happens. Um, and, oh, uh, one more last thing. Um, I also still don't think this is, you know, worth panicking over because like I said, it's, it's just not a guarantee. Uh, there is, the thing is, I almost wonder if the Amico, the company that produces Genesis, will see the reaction of the Reborn community and reconsider um, trying to figure out an alternative themselves instead of selling it to like a different supply company. I almost wonder if they're going to see the reaction of all the artists and the Reborn community and think maybe they shouldn't just completely count out Genesis heat set paints out of production. So, you know, that's also something that still could happen. So, you know, like I said, there's many, many things that could happen um, with this developing situation. And I thought I would just come on here and as an artist, have a different perspective that people need to stop freaking the fuck out, basically. Um, so, yeah, I hope this has been helpful for some people. Um, it already has been helpful for some people on Instagram. I know that I'm one of the few people who aren't freaking out. Um, 
so yeah i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week weekend i'm going to be uh finishing up probably the painting on my gauchin gauchin um so you'll see him on instagram later probably since it's still early in the morning i have um, a lot of time to pretty much finish him he's at the last steps so yeah you'll be looking for him soon he's gonna have hair so Alrighty guys, um, have a wonderful rest of your weekend and I will see you guys in the next video.